Hi guys and ladies, I was so happy with our blackened fish on the grill last week that I'm determined to use the grill again. But this time, let's try grilled fish with a tie twist. The only thing I need for this one, well, you guessed it, it's the fish. So let's go pick up some fresh. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the top. been out here and a rainstorm is hitting. This rain this year is unbelievable. Let's get back in and maybe we can get out again. I don't know. I know it's puny, but I need this fish. I've been out here for a long, long time, and we're supposed to get rid of these small ones from the lake anyway. It's called culling. Let me tell you about today. It's sweltering out here, and when it's not sweltering, it's pouring. At least it cooled off a little. The temperature's down to uh, 88 degrees, and the humidity is much better, 98%. Another little guy is coming out. Not only small, but skinny. They really have to go. The skinny ones especially need to be removed. They're not thriving. I'll show you what I'm using. I thought I felt the breeze just then, but it was a rumor. This is a TRD and copper truce, I think they call it. Just a t nothing is working well today. This is a little better than the others. Ah. Oh. Oh, so small. I thought it was going to be a monster. Nice one. He's too big for dinner. I have to return these big ones so they can thrive. 16 inches. One of those big bluegill again. Well, I need this. I need it to fill the bill. Oh, pathetic, pathetic, but I'll eat them. Better, better, better. Not good, but better. Ah. What? I just 
I just put my my lure in the water. And it was only down a, a foot and a half. And look at a big crappie came along and just took mid-water, just took it. Well, I need to get this out of the lake. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy now. It's not huge. We all love to catch huge fish, but this isn't bad. It's over 12 inches, I have to return it, but still, it's fun. 14 inches. Oh, looky here, we've got plenty for this recipe. Let's get in the house and fillet these guys, and tomorrow we'll grill Thai fish. slow start in the heat and humidity yesterday, but it ended well. And just the bass and bluegill alone gave us a pound and a half of these nice tiny fillets. And I can't wait to start grilling them. But first, let's do one of my old standby sides that a regular viewer asked me to make again. Loaded, fake, low carb, phony baloney mashed potatoes. And the star of the sideshow, <laughs> a big bag of cauliflower florets. I'm just gonna microwave our florets for 15 minutes. This is really hot. If we can pierce this with a fork, oh, and look how easily it goes in. It's done just right. I've drained all the water out. Oh, let's further dry this on paper towels. Let's just transfer now to a food processor bowl. Let's just pulse this for about a minute. In Britain, they say blitz. Let's blitz this. It's been about two minutes. I have four ounces of softened cream cheese and four tablespoons of butter softened. Put that in. A half teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. A half teaspoon of salt. Here's a half cup of sharp shredded cheddar. Sharp cheddar. Here's one of my faves. A quarter cup of shredded Asiago. Of course you could use Parmesan, but Asiago is a little milder and nuttier and sweeter and softer. And I'm all about nuttier. Let's pulse this up. Okay, we're done. I only have to bowl it up. I have to sneak a taste. Oh, is that good? Creamy, rich, tasty, flavorful, delicious. Better than the real thing. Well, it's onto the fish, and the fish is all about a Thai marinade. So the recipe called for six tablespoons of soy sauce. But look, I put this back in the refrigerator with like three drops in it. Why would I do that? I googled it and Worcestershire sauce has mostly soy in it. It's just like soy sauce with a few added ingredients like onions. So let's add Worcestershire. And they make Worcestershire in Thailand. Did you know that? They have a big plant. Now to make this more soy-like, Let's add a couple tablespoons of water. Now I'm supposed to add six tablespoons of oyster sauce, and I just tasted a little of this by itself. It's so good. Check this out, fish sauce. I'm adding two tablespoons of fish sauce. 
Now I've got to add two tablespoons of lime juice. That's one. Oh yeah, two. Now let's add four tablespoons of brown sugar. Ah, 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 this is low carb. Look at this. <laughs> I bought this in 1987. This is brown sugar substitute. They still have stuff like it on the market today, but not this, zero carb. I'm supposed to add eight tablespoons of minced garlic. Well, here are six tablespoons of this stuff from the jar, go easy, go simple. Here's a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Let's pour about half of our sauce. In case we need some more, we'll have it. Roll over our fish. I'll put these back in the fridge and get the grill going. I have one of these grates for delicate foods like fish and vegetables. I got them all on. I can't believe it. I'm going to let them go four and a half minutes, no more, and I'm not flipping them. They're too small and delicate. It's been about five minutes already. Let's get them off of this grill. Eh, they don't look like much. Oh. Hey, actually, they look pretty good. I'm going to get a little of that extra sauce and pour it over there and then just keep these warm in the oven. While our fish is keeping warm in the oven, I should let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. And I, well, you know, I'm overjoyed. Although I should cool my jubilation. You see, we've been seeing each other, well, since before the, the Rolling Stones. Yet she, she doesn't seem interested in marrying me. Uh, being alone in this old house is a real bummer. It's my great privilege to have here with me tonight the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and thank you immensely for dining with me here at my uh, buggy bungalow. And you had a chance to boldly bolt down my phony bologna mashed potatoes and my Thai grilled fish, and I'd love to hear your opinion of them. Oh, they were both excellent. It was, I really enjoyed the meal, and I loved the sauce that was on the fish. It was sweet. Yes, and I loved the cheesy taste of the potatoes. Mm. And now that you explain it was Asiago and cheddar, was that, that explains why it was different so and good. very delectable. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, thank you, it was wonderful. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I can call you Lulu sure. now. Oh. You know, it's lonely in this rickety ranch house. I sleep alone here every night. Oh, you, so you finally got an exterminator. Huh? Uh, can I have a hug? Uh,